what is going on everyone welcome back to another episode on the insorum server and if you're confused as to why we're at the city uh it's because on my final city builders episode which was probably last pro probably about a week ago now i mentioned that i was no longer going to be making the distinction between uh insorum server episodes and city builders episodes uh, i was kind of doing away with the city builders kind of title because i don't know i found it a little restrictive um just if I named it City Builders, I would be expected to do all the episode in the city. And I'm not saying I won't do whole episodes in the city. I may here and there. I just, I don't know. I, I didn't want the restriction because if I, I don't know, do 10 minutes in the city and then decide, man, I really want to go work on something over at my own base. I mean, it was a City Builders episode. So I felt kind of, I don't know, restricted. And the fact that it makes, um, it makes the episodes a little easier to brand because you know, everything's on the Insorum server, so I don't feel like I need to make too big a distinction. So anyway, I got plenty of comments last episode on the, would have been the City Builders episode. I got plenty of comments from you guys, so thank you very much. Uh, I got some suggestions. I don't like the courts that much. It's the best one so far, but I don't like it that much. So I got uh, a tip to do blue stained clay, which I thought, well, I don't care because I'm going to try everything. Hmm. I didn't think this would look as good as it did, but I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of digging it. I'm. The problem is I'm not really sure what to go for, because obviously the... I may go for spruce, because I... Uh, I can't tell what it is. I'm pretty sure it's dark oak. I may go for spruce, because spruce does lighten it up just a little bit. I did the same with my lighthouse. Um, and the spruce just lightened it up enough and it went with the birch a little bit better. So I may try some spruce, if I can find some that is. But before we do that, I'll knock out this. We're going to find something that will go with the floor today. We're going to design the floor today because I'm sick of it being like this. I really just want to finish it. I thought white stained clay would be a go. This was uh, just as kind of a hunch, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to kind of go away and look at it again. Look back. It's just a bit of an odd color. Yeah, yeah. White stained clay is just just weird. You know what the problem is? It will go well with the dark oak and maybe the birch, but then the oak will kind of say no. This doesn't go well. No, it doesn't work. It's not horrible. It's not. It's not like eye bleach kind of kind of stuff. But it's just not right. I may even remove the dark oak. If I cannot find anything to do with the dark oak, I'll just get rid of it. I'll change to like oak wood or something. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know, guys. This this is why I need the help. By the way, um, I was working on my lighthouse. I don't think we'll get over there this episode. I don't believe. I'm pretty sure we'll just work on this this episode. Uh, but next episode, we'll get over to my pretty much completed lighthouse. Still needs to be some tweaking done. But I think it's done. Uh, I... Filmed a bit of, a little bit of a mod Oh, we used mushroom blocks. Oh yeah, we used white stained clay here. It works well with this, because it's kind of a theme build. It goes with the bricks and everything, but not over at the wheat farm. Please have spruce. We don't have spruce. I've already checked. I've definitely checked if we have spruce. I'm going to check if we have any in the bank, or I took them all, because if I took them all, I'm going to be very annoyed with myself. Um... So yeah, I, I, I did finish up the lighthouse, more or less, and I'm kind of tweaking it, so you guys will get to see that next episode. I filmed the mon- sort of a bit of a- sort of a bit of a- a little bit of a montage. We need a proper entrance to this. Low, get on it. I don't want to keep running through this. I feel like I'm robbing a bank every time, which I guess I am. Robbing the bank vault. By the way, I'm not sure if any of you have seen this door. It's not my best work, but it does the job. <laughs> the lag. Is horrible. Then you can go over this side. There we go. Hello. <gasps> We're trapped. <laughs> so basically, all this is is does, does the top ones? No, they don't. So basically, all around one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, or one, two on the side, and then four up the top. They come in, and then these middle blocks are a double extended. The reason, if you ever look at the pattern, it actually doesn't complete. I believe we could put sea lanterns there, but it will look funny when it, the door expands. Um, and the reason the block is here is because I believe I'm actually powering this. I really... I'm going to break it quickly. Yeah, you can see I'm powering it. Oh, I'm actually using the power from it. Oh, there you go. 
So that's why the uh, pattern's a little weird. I'm not going to go into that redstone because I believe it is just a total mess because I had to cramp it into that space. But uh, yeah, that's the vault door for anyone who hasn't seen. I was looking for spruce saplings. Please be there, please be Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get a couple of them. I'm going to get some bones. I'm just going to take a bunch. We have plenty of bones. Plenty. Now look at the vault door, of course. I still don't like how it closes. It, it It's a weird timing, but I can't do anything about it, believe it or not. There is not enough space to do anything. Um, or, I guess technically there is space, but not realistically. Not realistically. <sighs> so anyway, uh, I... Um, what am I doing? I, I, have a, I have a funny weekend coming up, mostly because uh, I've been busy um, every weekend. And of course, uh, you guys who have been following my channel for a little bit, I discussed how I went to Bali earlier this year, which is an island of Indonesia. For those of you who are unaware, I went on a holiday with my lovely girlfriend, of course. And that, we, we went over, what, I think it was like eight days or something. And that included a weekend. And believe it or not, that weekend was the last weekend I've had free. And since then, I have had... And that, that was like the second weekend of January. Yep, second weekend of January. And I have not had a free weekend since then. I have always had something on. And I have nothing on this weekend. And it feels weird. It feels really weird, guys. Um... But I guess I can look back and say, well, I guess I've been busy every week. And it's not like it's a burden or anything because um, usually I see my, well, like I see my girlfriend throughout the week because that's when she usually has uh, Wednesday, Thursday off. So that's when I go see her. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, she's generally working or at least Saturday. And I, it's not like I get to see her. It's not like it's taking any time out of my day it's just weird sitting here i'm filming this on a friday night and i'm sitting here i'm going i don't have to do anything for the next two days and i don't think it's a good feeling because i've discussed this before about my motivation and when i have a lot of free time i do less because i'm at uni at the moment and i'm actually kind of doing work because i know i need to and i'm filming i, I literally sat down tonight and said man i gotta record something so i actually been on the server for a good hour already actually preparing for this episode uh, or at least finishing off the lighthouse a bit and then I prepared a little bit uh, but it, it's kind of weird I, I, I'm i not sure what it is it's something in my brain I, I'm not really sure so I'm not sure if any of you guys experience that but it's just so strange I do I do more work when I'm busier yeah I don't know all right, so we're going to turn... I've got a bit of lag going on. Yeah, I'm getting 20 frames per second. Yeah, that's a bit odd. Usually I'm all right this far away from the city. I'm really sorry about the lag, guys. As I mentioned before, there is not much I can do about the lag. Oh, man. Is this going to even look good? Oh, I'm scared. All right, what I'm going to do is actually knock out the one over here. So yeah, uh, uh, yeah, the lag, uh, about the lag, I, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it is literally the city. Uh, there is too mount, There is too much shit going on in the city, and therefore it is really laggy. That's about all I, all I can say, guys. It's just that laggy. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Except, I don't know, get a better computer. And I'm willing to accept uh, anonymous donations. Uh, just, just, just mail them to Australia. Uh, just put Australia on the uh, envelope. And just, just say, uh, to, to Ripper. They'll, they'll know who it is. Like, come on. No one sends letters out here. They're all like, kangaroo mail and, or something like that. <laughs> uh, so anyway, guys, that's kind of my thing. Um, I mean, I actually got some work done. It was strange. I think I'm getting used to, like, going to uni and stuff. It's bad, because once I get used to it, it will be over. I guarantee it. It'll be like, well, yeah, you're done with uni. Uh... And I, I don't mind uni. It's comfortable. <laughs> when I actually have to go into the real world and get a job and stuff, man, I'm not looking forward to that. I do not envy all of you guys who are out there working your full-time jobs. I don't envy you one bit. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy being in uni. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a bit cruisy and it's kind of... 
It is partly responsible for my laziness, I guess. It is partly responsible. I'm just going to turn all of these into slabs. I don't know why I didn't do that at the start. Of course, we've got two left over. It's always the way. All right. And what I would do... I'll ring this as well. It actually doesn't look as bad. It actually goes... It. I think it goes the same with oak. It, it looks fine with oak. In fact, it almost looks better with oak than the, the dark oak. I, I think... I'm really preferring the spruce over the dark oak, I've got to admit. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm much preferring it. I used it in the lighthouse build, I'm using it in this, and it's just... Ah, uh, please. Oh yeah, and I'm committing the sin where uh, I'm putting uh, slabs instead of full blocks. And you guys just have to deal with it, because that's, that's how I roll. Because <laughs> I'm really lazy and really don't want to get that many more resources. Yeah, I'm really preferring the, uh, the spruce. I think it's a lot easier to work with. Uh, can... I think I tried this already. I definitely tried this already. I just want to see if it looks much better. You know, I'm not sure. I think it looks a bit better. I need some sea lanterns. I may go steal some from Flake. Sorry, Flake. It's going over here. Yeah, this looks... By contrast, this is kind of almost white and black. That's, that's kind of the contrast it's giving me. Not white and brown it's just white and black that's what it is to me whereas if i go over to the spruce spruce is kind of the or maybe oak is the middle ground between the spruce and the birch i think the oak is the genuine middle ground between it and i look at this and i'm like it's almost oak but you know with it's oak with a brown tinge rather whereas um the dark oak is almost oak with a black tinge i know it isn't but it's kind of what it's giving me all right Let's try some blocks, guys. Let's try, I don't know, does quartz go with it? Let's, let's try it out, I guess. Let's, let's see. Mm. Well, the chiseled quartz isn't working, at least. I do have regular quartz in my inventory, so we will try that. I guess I've got some iron blocks as well. I guess we'll try that, too. Let's try that. Let's actually try some iron blocks, because we have got iron blocks to build with. We do have like 20 trillion iron farms. The iron blocks aren't too bad, but they're a little... Oh, oh wow. Ooh. Ooh. Get rid of that. The iron blocks aren't working. They're, they're a little harsh. I think iron blocks have always be gone better with um, stone slabs. And stuff. Stone slabs! Why haven't I tried... Oh. Okay. Okay. The quartz looks a lot better with the uh, spruce than it does with the dark oak. I don't know about you guys, I I'm almost sold on this. Uh, you know I should do. That. Uh, oh no, I can put light there. I can put light there. I'm going to put light there. I'm going to do that and put light there. Yep. Okay. It's all coming together, guys. I'm actually liking this. I think we found our block, guys. I think we found it. Oh, damn. I don't think I have any more quartz. Uh, do, can I slip some chiseled quartz in there or something? I don't know. I'm just... Not there. I'm not very good at this, guys. Give me a break. Alright? Just... I'm new at this. Can we slip... I don't know. One in... Come on. If this was a perfect square, it'd be a lot easier. Mm, uh, almost. <laughs> Maybe one block out, so I'll put it there. This is good, this is good. I like having a kind of train of thought going. This this is what I do, by the way. If you ever want to know what, I am, what I'm like when I'm building, I'm always talking to myself. In fact, if you ask anyone I know, I'm always talking to myself anyway. Whoa. This is... I'm just trying to imagine if I... If this would work for the whole build. Because what I'll do... Because uh, the ladders have to... Oh, no, I can... Oh, well, I can put stuff under the ladders, can't I? Duh. I'm not sure it worked going around the ladders as well, though. I think it looked a bit odd. I think this just looked a touch too odd. Oh no, maybe not. 
As long as we keep it symmetrical, I think it's alright. And then possibly... Oh my god, yeah, I got more. I'm just trying to have, um, kind of go with a pattern. And I don't want to use, like, heaps and heaps of quartz. I'd rather not farm quartz for days. That. That, that. Got to take that away, that's crap. Wait, why is it... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not right, then. Uh, oh. Oh, my wall's wrong. How is my wall wrong? How is that possible? What's it like on this side? Wait up. Okay, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3. 2, 3. I'm not going to bother counting that. But it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> oh no. And it must it must screw up over there. That looks weird, but it may look alright when the wall goes in. Alright, so uh, it's not just one rung, I'm gonna have to change the whole segment. Ah oh, well. I just have to remember it's like that. Uh can I can I leave a reminder? Okay guys, so I just acquired some sea lanterns from a building that, uh, while looking suspiciously like Flake's base, or Flake's Tower, uh, was indeed, was in fact not Flake's Tower, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't take, I wouldn't take stuff. I wouldn't steal. No. Why would I do that? Um, I'm not actually sure if I have, um, the, well the reason, the reason this tower exists is because we have an amazing guardian farm built by Flake, who also built this amazing tower. I, I, this is probably my favorite tower in all of City Builders. I mean, I, I'm not saying anyone else's is bad. Don't get me wrong on that. I, I love pretty much all the buildings in this goddamn town, oh, that casino. But I think Flake's tower just trumps them. Maybe it's because of my love of kind of helixes and stuff. I really, really do like helixes. You know, see, if you go down like any blue world, go to like uh, the spawn point of it. Um, it is, well, there's a big double helix. Um, I just love the things. I, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we have a big guardian farm, and I'm not sure if I've visited it, visited it on camera. So let me know if you guys want to see that, because I'm, I'm very happy to go visit it on camera if you guys want to see it. Because, uh, yeah, I know I have visited it, but I'm not sure if I have on camera yet, so. So, yeah, I'm really liking this Dark Oak guy. Uh, it's not Dark Oak. I mean, the opposite of that. I'm really liking this Spruce. The Quartz, maybe. Um, I'm not 100% sold on it, but I, I really do like it, but I'm not 100% sold. I'm not sure how it will complement the build. Uh, and I still have to design. Well, I, I got kind of this pattern going. I think I will use this. But I may have something different in the middle here. I don't know. I really don't know what I want to do. Uh, but I feel I'm getting places. In fact, just to... Okay, I'm just going to store some crap. And just to end off the episode, we may try some new stuff. I'm going to store that the crap. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to keep some of that. I guess I'll... In fact, I'll keep that glass. It's from my base. I'll keep the spruce in here. It's fine. Okay, I want to get these. T I don't think the white stained clay will go with it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, optimistic at best. I'll admit. I'm not sure why I had that kind of hunch. But it was it was optimistic at best. But the um, the blue stained clay had promise. I'm sorry I didn't look up the name of the person who suggested that. But uh, shout outs. Thank you very much for suggesting it. Uh, it doesn't go as well with the spruce. It went a lot better with the dark oak, I will say. The uh, blue stained clay, but not doesn't really go with the... Because uh, it's it's kind of a purpley colour, so, so it doesn't really go with the um, the lighter brown of the spruce, in my opinion. Although my opinion is definitely not to be taken... Take it with a grain of salt, because uh, I, I'm not an expert for what I'm to stretch the imagination. I didn't know the axe might have that fast. So yeah, I may just work with the quartz. We'll see how we go. But I'm really liking this kind of look. I feel I need to see it in a bigger scale before I say yes or no to it. Uh, which means I'll need to go do some quartz mining off camera, which kind of sucks. 
It really sucks to be honest. Maybe I'll montage it or something. Who knows? Fill in a couple of minutes of uh, my next episode. I probably won't. It's pretty boring just digging in a straight line. Um, I've got to be honest. Um, although I may use it to dig, uh, dig out some of my nether tunnel because uh, that might be handy because it means I'm actually getting some useful work done rather than just you know digging in a straight line. Um, so we'll see how we go, guys. I think I'm just going to end off this episode here. A bit shorter, I think. Uh, yeah, we're only on about, what, 20 minutes-ish, so... <laughs> yeah, just a bit shorter, but that's all right. Not every, not every episode has to go to, like, 25 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes. Uh, I, I don't... I generally like keeping them relatively short and to the point. And we got plenty of... Uh, Plenty of discovery done. We actually got some progress. So let me know what you think of this. If you think this looks absolutely terrible, please tell me because I, I you can't trust me with these things, honestly. Again, not the uh definitely not the builder of the server. In fact, what if we do what if we do uh, that? Actually it looks a bit better. Yeah, it does. That looks much better. <laughs> In my opinion. Again, grain of salt, guys. Grain of salt. <laughs> so please tell me if this looks terrible because obviously my Eiffel building is not that of uh, anyone ever. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to call myself a terrible builder. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be that mean to myself, but not not the best builder. Um, so maybe we'll do a redstone project next. I'm feeling like a redstone project, guys. How about you? How about you? <laughs> So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. Please let me know your thoughts on the new design, and I will catch you next time, guys. Thank you very much. For... Oh, I always screw up on the outro. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Omni and Sorum Server, and I'll see you next time.